So I found this recipe from Julia Child. It's called chicken dinner for four in half an hour. Is it possible to make this in half an hour? I'd love to know. Oh! <laughs> bon appetit. It's the French chef cookbook. This is like my antique version of it. Anytime I make a Julia Child recipe, I'm in this kitchen for a good amount of time. Like I'm not going anywhere. I settle in and I get it done, but it takes a while. It's like a minimum of a few hours. When you see something like this that claims to be just half an hour and it's coming from Julia Child, you have my attention. I have my doubts though. All right, so firstly, I gotta mention a few things before we get started. It says chicken dinner for four. Uh, I'm halving the recipe just because it's me and I don't wanna waste any food. So it's gonna be a chicken dinner for two in half an hour. Now I've read over the recipe. I do not see anything that indicates that I'm cheating by like cutting it in half. Secondly, there's a couple ingredients here that I had to just like omit because I didn't wanna like throw money away by just buying a little bit of watercress. Now the menu will consist of this cold hors d'oeuvres and herbal chicken, sauteed potatoes and zucchini. Let me just get everything that I need in front of me. It says this is what you're supposed to do in the cookbook. So I have a full chicken here and I don't need a full chicken, remember, because I'm only making this recipe for two people. I'm not cheating right now, I'm just cutting up a chicken because it says you need a cut up chicken for you. So the breast has been cut in half, I have my thigh, and uh, my drumstick. Zucchinis, tomatoes, potatoes, there's some tarragon, there's, I need a few eggs, Italian spice mix, butter. There might be a few other things that I'll need along the way too, and I'll cross that bridge when I get there, but for now, I'm ready. One, fill the kettle with hot water, okay. Six quarts of hot water, okay. That's what I have to do first. All right, I'm ready, and let's go. Chicken dinner in 30 minutes. Here we go. First, I need to fill what she says a kettle with hot water, but I believe she just means a big pot. So that's filling up, whoa. Okay, got the pot. That's to a high heat. A couple tablespoons of salt into the water. Where's the lid? Cover and set over the highest heat. Actually, what I'm gonna do is bring this over here. Melt butter in pan, okay, so I need a casserole dish. Excuse me. Should I use this or the cast iron? So around one and a half tablespoons of butter. Turn the page. Melt the butter, probably on like a medium heat. All right, what can I be doing in the interim while that is melting? So I gotta scrub my zucchinis under cold water. Zucchinis, cold zucchinis. Scrub your zucchinis under cold water. Water isn't boiling yet. It's been six minutes so far and I haven't really done much yet. So once the butter is bubbling, I gotta add in my chicken. Probably needs to be dried off first. Should have done that before I did anything. How's that butter? I gotta add this chicken in. Add the chicken in now. Multitasking with the camera. Turn the butter around in the chicken. Add some salt in there. Season, season. Pepper, please. Think ahead, think ahead. What else? Italian seasoning. She doesn't say how much, so I'm just gonna use my judgment. You know, a, a nice amount in there. Personal decision to do skin side down. Oh, half a tablespoon. Quickly cut up some tarragon, because I want that in there too, because I bought it and I forgot it. So I need to allow the butter to bubble quietly, but not to brown. Cover and cook slowly. I need this water to be rapidly boiling. It's taking forever. So it has been 11 minutes so far, and I got the chicken on, but no zucchini in the boiling water. So that is concerning. How am I gonna do all this? Check the chicken, I guess, while you wait. This is a cause for concern. I'm gonna add in the zucchini because I can't wait any longer. Boil uncovered for eight minutes. Two tomatoes into my strainer, and then that's gonna sit in the boiling water for exactly 10 seconds to loosen the skin before you peel. Check that chicken in the same time. How's the chicken doing? 
I haven't really done anything in the last few minutes because I'm waiting for things to happen. All right, tomatoes are good. Take them out and I need to peel them. Ah, they're friggin' hot. So it also says if you haven't boiled your eggs yet, add them now to the zucchini water, timing for 11 minutes. One egg, two egg. I broke that egg. Dropped one a bit too hard so it cracked a bit, but it's fine. I need to peel these tomatoes. Two potatoes, need to peel them. Uh oh, where's the fing peel? It? Ah, I nicked my finger with the peeler. F ah, cut into a 3 8 inch dice. Uh, cut potatoes into 3 8 inch dice. It made sense to me when I was initially reading it. 0 0.38 inches is 0 0.95 centimeters. So it's about one centimeter. I've actually cut my finger while I was using the peeler on the potatoes and it's worse than I thought it was. So I need a Band-Aid. I'm just wasting time with the Band-Aid now. Okay, that was for the zucchini. I don't know what to do with them just yet. I just put them there. Uh, I need to, ah, those are hot. I need to dice up this potato as quickly as I can. So I know if I had a food processor, this would make it much easier. Nine minutes to go. What am I thinking? A mandolin. I have a mandolin, but I, I guess I should have set it up first. I, I don't know. Maybe not a mandolin. I don't know what I would do with a mandolin. Okay, I don't know how much more time I can cu spend cutting up the potatoes. This is probably not the best way to dice it right now, but this is the only way I can think of. A tablespoon of butter in a frying pan and, oh shit. You need four, bur three burners. For Put that back there, I guess. Continue for high heat, toss and let cool. It's really a good thing I have so many burners. So when the butter starts to subside, add the potatoes. It says dry the potatoes thoroughly, but I did. Get the camera out of the way. It said dry the potatoes thoroughly, but I did not. So uh, hopefully they're fine. Actually don't really, what am I supposed to do with them? So me not drying the potatoes might hinder them turning brown, but uh, there's nothing else I can do about that right now. Ooh. In between potato tossing, turn the chicken. Remove the eggs from the boiling water about two minutes after you were supposed to. Mince the white part off the scallions. Two scallions, okay in with the chicken. Oh, toss the potatoes. Cut out the stem button. Cut out the stem button. Cut out the stem button. Peel the tomatoes and set aside. What? Cut out the stem button? Okay, cut out the stem button. Peel the tomatoes. Already did. Remove eggs when done, tap shells with a spoon to crack them. Knife. Place the eggs in cold water. So the zucchini is done when it's barely soft. Do not overcook it. Remove immediately from water, already dead, with a two prong fork. Okay, get to the point. Quarter lengthwise. Then cut into three quarter inch pieces. I think just like really tiny again. Any another saucepan, what kind of oil do I need? Olive oil. A tablespoon of olive oil in a frying pan. Yes, another frying pan and the zucchini has to go in there. On to heat, I would imagine, right? Evaporate the moisture. If you did not have four burners, this recipe is not possible. Okay, get the chicken out of my way, because it is done. Get this out of the way. Once the potatoes start to brown, add some salt and pepper. Set over low heat, tossing occasionally as you continue with the menu. Assembling the hors d'oeuvres. Remove the shell from each hard boiled egg. Half the eggs. Hey, those are pretty nice hard boiled eggs. I'm just 
stepping on so much shit. She says, cover with a spoonful of mayonnaise, preferably homemade, as if I had time to do that. Just a little bit of mayonnaise on the, there's a spoonful of mayonnaise as, as requested. If you can see me past all the debris, I need to salt my zucchini. And then of course the pepper, toss around. Cut the tomatoes in wedges. That was the worst cut I've ever done. 12 slices of salami. Salami. So luckily I have salami. I knew I had it before I started, but she said 12 slices, but just it's just me. I'm just gonna do like four. So here are the eggs, the salami, tomatoes. If I had watercress, I don't. There's a little pepper on top, a little salt. I had parsley, where did I put it? Over here. Chopped up parsley too. Let's get the main course. Nah, much needed cutting board flip. The chicken on another plate. Zucchini, potatoes. So I arranged the potatoes and the zucchini on the same plate, it says. The zucchini's on one side. It says potatoes on the other side. There's the hors d'oeuvres. Stop the clock, order up. Forty-five minutes and thirty-nine seconds is how long it took me to make Julia Child's thirty-minute dinner. That's including hors d'oeuvres. All right, chill out, have an egg. Mmm. That was exhausting. It was very exhausting. Give this stuff a try. Tad overcooked. I would love to see Julia Child make that dinner in half an hour. I guess she did because this is the French Chef Cookbook, which is the name of her TV show. And every recipe in this book is an episode of her show. So this was the 58th episode. I mean, kudos to her because that was, that was a grind. I mean, let's be honest, it could be more refined. It wasn't like the most perfect dinner because it was rushed. It felt like it was rushed. So I would say I'm pleased with like what I could present. All in all though, for a dinner like that in that amount of time, I mean, come on. There's some things that are worded in this book that really just slowed me down, quite honestly. You know, like when you're cutting potatoes into three eighth inch dice. Uh, I mean, why don't you just say like, dice up the potatoes into tiny little pieces. <laughs> I would have got it much quicker. Got that much closer to 30 minutes if I hadn't nicked my finger and if I had cut out the hors d'oeuvres. Of course, filming everything, it's just like you're focused on two different things at once. So it's hard to be 100% on one thing. If you were gonna try it, I have more faith that you would get closer to 30 minutes than I did. My Patreon supporters, you can see their names scrolling by here. If you'd also like your name up on the side here, if you'd like to support the show, there's a link in the description. You can check it out, see if it's for you. But that's all I got today. This was Jamie and Julia. Bon appetit. Au revoir.